it's slime time. Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then a big welcome to you. Today, we are not going to be re re Today, we are not going to be reviewing one, but two famous slime shops. We are going to be reviewing $50 of Slime Yowie Slime and $50 of Slime Jewel Slime. Before we get on with the video, there's just a couple disclaimers I want to get out of the way. The first thing is, is that I'm sorry if you see my nail during the video. I actually chipped my nail and I didn't have time to get them redone before I filmed this. The second thing is, is that the song at the beginning is called On and On. The third thing is, is that I will be including the prices of each of these slimes during the video. These slimes plus shipping were $50 and $50. So if you see that the slimes add up to less than $50 in the video, that is why. And the fourth and final thing is, is that I will be having a face reveal at 100,000 subscribers. So as you guys know, I'm going to be using my handy dandy scissors and some activator in case any of the slimes got sticky over shipping. My activator recipe is one teaspoon of borax dissolved in a cup of hot water. I'm going to start off with Slimey Owie first. containers that she sells her slime in. These are just your standard screw top lid containers that pretty much every slime seller uses. With my experience with them, they are super sturdy and I have never had a problem with them. So on top of all of her containers, she has her Slime Yowie logo. And on the bottom, which I think is very unique, she has handwritten labels for the type of slime. This is her perfect pair slime and it is $10.25. I know that a lot of her slimes have a play on words or a pun on them and most of them revolve around the cat theme. Oh my gosh, yes. This slime has a very glossy look to it. It also feels somewhat creamy. I don't know how to explain it. And it has this light green minty type color to it. And then inside of the slime, there are these assorted foam beads. I think they were green and yellow, if I recall. And then she also has some black glitters scattered around in the slime. This smells a lot like pears, as the name suggests. I just can't get over how thick and glossy and nice this slime is. And it is so satisfying to just play with. Look how floofy this slime got. It is so self-inflating. So overall, I'm going to give this slime a 10 out of 10. This slime right here is called Bananas For You. It is $10.50. Oh my gosh, I need like a gallon of this. So this slime has a very unique butter slime texture. It has a very creamy texture to it. And it feels like this was made with Daiso soft clay. It has that somewhat light and airy texture to it. It's super spreadable. This literally feels like touchable banana cream from banana cream pie. It's so soft and it almost feels like it has shaving cream in it. It just has a smooth and creamy texture. It has this beautiful light yellow banana color to it, which is very suitable for the name. And it smells just like bananas, of course. It is another one of her self-inflating slimes. Literally, look at this. It fluffed up so much. It's so amazing. And I'm noticing the more you play with it, it's almost getting fluffier and it's somewhat changing textures to like a fluffy butter slime. But overall, I'm going to give this slime another 10 out of 10. This slime right here is called Cupid's Cloud. It was $9.75. This is a four ounce portion, but they are basically the same exact containers, just smaller, obviously. So I just opened that up and it started to like pull itself out of the container so beautifully. Can we get a replay of just how easy that just came out of the container? Oh my blobs. 
This slime is actually my new obsession. I'm literally touching heaven. It came with this adorable little heart charm. It is so light and fluffy. There's no snow fallout on my fingers, no snow fallout on my desk, and there's no residue on my desk. And it's so creamy. Oh my gosh. This is my new obsession. I could play with this for literally hours on end and never get sick of it. I'm not sure if this is scented or not. It does have a slightly sweet smell and it smells like marshmallows. It has this beautiful white base and then inside scattered around we have little heart. I don't know how to explain it. Just heart little charm things. It is goals. This is goals. She is goals. Overall, I'm giving this slime like a 300,000 out of 10. Like I don't even know where to start with this slime. off she has this very unique business card i will be sure to link all of her stuff down below if you want to go check her out on the back we have activator instructions and a slime care sheet i also got this cute little turtle squishy dude that's pretty slow rising for a little baby squishy like this so squishy she completely spoiled me with candy. Oh my gosh. I got a high chew. This thing, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of it. A Jolly Rancher. I also don't know how to pronounce this. This looks like some type of Asian candy. This looks like another one of the Asian snacks or candies, I'm not really sure. And gummy bears. These are cute little Valentine's Day themed gummy bears. And a Dum Dum Lollipop. So overall, I really did love my slime package from Slime Meowie. I definitely would say she is one of the underrated slime shops. I was pleasantly surprised with all of her slimes and they were so awesome. I'm obsessed. So i just like to thank Slime Meowie for sending me this beautiful slime package. Up next, we have Slime Jewel. These are your standard eight ounce containers. She has her Slime Jewel logo at the top and at the bottom. She has these cute little stickers and this is fluffy banana cream. On each one of her containers, she also has a safety plastic thing, which is just another way to keep your slimes super safe. I'm loving this bubbly layer at the top. Mm-hmm. This is nice, this is nice. I would say it does have one of those thinner slime textures, but I can feel the fluffiness in it. It doesn't feel like your classic fluffy slime, so I don't think it will deflate as much or as quickly. It does have a very unique type of fluff to it. It doesn't seem mega fluffy to me, and I do know selling fluffy slimes is extremely tricky because of how they deflate. The base feels extremely creamy and soft on my hands. It has this light yellow tint, which is very suitable for the banana scent. This smells like a banana and coconut milkshake. I don't know where I'm getting the coconut from, but I do smell coconut in it. I don't mind it though. It smells like a very fruity tropical banana smoothie. I can feel the texture starting to get fluffier the more and more that I play with it. Overall, I'm going to give this slime a 10 out of 10. Oh no. <laughs> Up next, we have her fuzzy peach. As you just saw, the slime just came right out of the container so easily. Look how pretty this light shifting glitter is. It's cute, it's cute. Oh my gosh. This feels like so floofy. This is probably one of the most fluffy cloud slimes ever. Just like, look. <laughs> I am having quite a lot of snow fallout though on my hands, but I am having little to none on my desk, which is very good. The one thing that is a little bit different about the slime is that when you pull it, it like starts to like crumble 
but it kind of like breaks apart when you try to like fluff it out and it almost seems too fluffy if that's a thing. All the glitters are fully incorporated now and it has this beautiful light-ish peach color. It looks a little bit more like a flamingo. This slime is kind of messy. I am trying to clean it up from like all over my desk right now and it just like keeps falling out. Not snow fallout though, it's literally like chunks of the slime. This smells very good though. It smells like a peach farm. Smells very fresh and fruity. So overall, I am going to give this slime like an eight out of 10. Right here we have her fruity pebbles slime it smells so good this is amazing oh my gosh look at how thick and creamy this is it's so glossy and soft and smooth it has this beautiful yellow base color that looks a little bit lighter than what a banana color would be and then it has these sprinkles kind of scattered around the whole slime This is an amazing slime to swirl, and it just looks like it got so fluffy from me swirling it once. Now this is my favorite texture from her. It looks fluffy now, honestly. Overall, I'm giving this slime like a 12 out of 10. So I just got so excited to get into reviewing these slimes. I forgot to tell you guys the prices. The fluffy banana cream slime was $13.50. The fuzzy peach slime was $16. And the fruity pebble slime was $13.50. Extras! So inside we got two lollipops. Looks like her little business card. And then on this side she has her make your own slime activator sheet, a baggie of borax, and then right here, this is just her slime care sheet. So overall, I really loved my slime package from Slime Jewel. I'm definitely very impressed with her fluffy banana cream slime and her fruity pebble slime. So overall, I'd just like to thank Slime Jewel for this beautiful slime package. I really enjoyed filming this video and I hope you guys liked it. So if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button down below and the little post notification bell right next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. By doing this, you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my timers. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be sure to see you all next week. Bye guys!